Okay, so we all <laughs> experienced this together on Tuesday night. Hopefully you were with us and saw this as well. And now the rest of the world is getting a laugh from our 9 o'clock weather forecast. Sometimes the strangest things happen, right? It was like being in the middle of an 80s video game. It was so funny. Our Jennifer McDermott mm -hmm. becoming a viral sensation overnight with plenty of buzz beyond social media. Take a look. We'll take 10 Jennifers. <laughs> yeah, right. I like her. I'll take Jennifer. Uh, <laughs> temperature is 58 degrees. Right. I have uh, no idea what that was, but uh, that was brilliant. Yes, it was. <laughs> all right. Now, near the end of this thing, McDermott joked, I can't even handle myself. No, never mind. 10 of me and her co anchor said, Whatever you button you push, do not do it again. <laughs> so, you know, this, I, you know what I love about network TV? It's so different from local. That kind of stuff doesn't happen here. No. Never. Right, Al? No, never. Never. <laughs> well, look, I'm Neo from the main. Matrix. <laughs> well, uh, it is inevitable. We think she weathered that funny moment beautifully. I, I think we should it. have what she's Jennifer, having. Jennifer, great job. Yeah. <laughs> I know. That was funny. I was thinking that. She, she handled it well. That was fun. It's almost like when you used to win a game of solitaire on the computer. Yes. Oh. oh gosh. So good. Oh my god. So good. When we were in the middle of it, it was like, yeah. what's happening? Yeah. And like disco music should have been playing. Oh, wait, I want to make it clear though, it wasn't just me in the video. It it was you two were involved as well. <laughs> no, we were non-factors. No. Trust me. You, uh, we were, you just were definitely tapping. involved. So you've been very busy the last 36 hours. Oh my goodness. More my, than 15 minutes of fame. Oh my goodness, my phone has just been blowing up. Mm -hmm. Friends, uh, former colleagues, my family. My mom's joking around town. She's no longer. Her name's Teresa. But she doesn't go by Teresa anymore. She's going by Jennifer's mom. Oh, boy. <laughs> List up some of the places you've talked to today, because I know you've oh, done Oh, gosh. Um, Inside Edition uh, reached out to me, mm -hmm. so I did a little interview with them. And then, as you saw, Jimmy Fallon, CBS This Morning. Mm -hmm. um, who else? Uh, the Today Show, Good Morning America caught a hold of it. And then uh, my, one of my former television stations reached out to me in Des Moines, Iowa. So it's, it's, been a, it's been a wild ride. It's been a fun one. But what's really cool about this is that, sure, it was fun and it was weird. And it was funky. But I've gotten so many messages from people from all around the country that just say, you know, I had a rough day today and that made me smile. Yeah. I've had a rough week and that brought tears to my eyes. And... And I kind of thought about it. I've been digesting this over the past 36 hours. And we kind of live in this world right now where a lot of stuff is stressful. Mm -hmm. you know, not a lot, a lot of, of laughing. Not a mm -hmm. lot of laughing. A lot of stuff that's making people angry and sad and obsessed and stressed. And so if that, like, that little video of, what, 50 seconds can make people smile Absolutely. for just a minute, then it's going to sound cheesy, but then I'm okay with that video just going everywhere. Well, the best part is you have an aunt who was tuning in for the first time <laughs> yeah. because she yeah. learned how to stream our newscast. Uh -huh. So this was her first experience watching you yep. on, on the big show. <laughs> my, my Aunt Debbie in St. Louis, Missouri told me, I'm going to watch you tonight. What time are you on? And I said, 9 p.m. And then that happens. And I go back to my phone, and she's like, is this every newscast? I know. Did, did Aunt Debbie actually do this through her stream? You should, yeah, you Toby. Should, you should blame her. I know. Did, Aunt Debbie, this is your fault. Aunt <laughs> Debbie, my Uncle Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> now that you're really big and people have discovered you, are you still going to be able to come in here and work with us little people? I mean, I'll think about it. <laughs> we still don't really know what happened either. Uh, Could you recreate that if you that wanted weird. to? Yes. Okay. No, don't say yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong answer. I won't tell Ian how. <laughs> no, uh, but when you're in the moment of it, I wasn't thinking about why is this happening. I was thinking more of, okay, you, you have, a, as you guys know, being on TV, you have a split second to make a decision. Mm -hmm. Because a split second yes. feels like 10 minutes. Go with it. Yeah, and I thought, okay, you know what? I can either click advance or go with it. And because the weather was so quiet, you know, on yeah. Tuesday, I oh, thought, perfect. you know what? Let's go with it. And, and so yeah. afterwards, I decided, okay, let's investigate. It took me 30 seconds to figure out why mm -hmm. that happened. But Al yeah. Roker's impression, the best. He nailed it. <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> nailed it. Not so as good as you, th but pretty good. I don't think we showed it, but at the end, he did like this. And his head just went. <laughs> it was awesome. It was, a, it was really funny. <laughs> well, you made our day, too. Yeah. yeah. Good. Now yeah. the international we, we, press will be calling. So oh God. you'll be on at like 3 in the morning in Perth, <laughs> Australia. Oh, Lord. Right. Maybe they'll send me there for the interview. Yeah. How about that? Right. Enjoy. I would, I would like to go to Australia. <laughs>